my potato. You're the first chatter today. For once. Uh, hello, man. Oh, wait, happy late birthday! I missed your birthday last week. Didn't come out forever in the closet? And that's fine. You know, do it at your leisure. Did you do anything fun for your birthday, though? Like, did you go out to eat? Nope. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I mean, it's almost summer, so you're gonna have a lot of time to party. Right? I'm live. Hello, good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. Bonus subscriber only stream today, a rare Monday stream. I was gonna go live on our channel, but honestly, wasn't feeling it. I've been stalling way too long on the Quagal Lamb DLC. So my goal today is to beat Anchor Deep. Um, welcome in. We had Potato in the just starting soon screen. Thank you for chatting. Um, I'm trying this new juice it was labeled and marketed as a probiotic juice and it tastes so bad <laughs> it has no sugar i think it's just pressed fruit juice but it's like it's so bad but you know it's healthy and nothing good for you it tastes good so makes sense um let's say let's say gentle reminder it is june 19th so we are nearing the end of the month guys i am going to do a new painting drop not this friday but next friday so june 30th and i will be doing a giveaway stream on the 30th so make sure you have your channel points saved up i will be dropping four new paintings i also in the upcoming months will be working on releasing new products so everybody hold your horses don't worry New stuff is coming soon. <clears throat> Hi, Mag. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Wait, Mag? I saw the review. I didn't look at it at stream. I looked at it after, and I literally teared up. It was so cute. Wait, can we read it? Sub only. Nobody's gonna look at the VOD. Let's see. The... On the review, Mac, it only shows the name you put, so it won't leak anything, so you're fine. What's cool is that on the product listings, if you scroll down, it'll have reviews. Oh, it's, it's cropped off for the stream. And it's cool because I can reply to it. <laughs> so, let's do it right here. Um, everybody, put on your listening ears. Five star reviews, one sale, Pog you. Worth every dollar. It's It was a no-brainer to purchase this painting. Photo and videos don't do it justice, but the chrome finish is beautifully done and gives the piece a different dimension in natural light. Very true. The canvas panel is very easy to mount. Yes, referring back to the actual item description. Very good. 
This part made me tear up right here. Oh my god. It was so cute. I often wake up in the morning and see the painting across the room, and I'm glad I made a purchase from a very hardworking, trustworthy artist who didn't disappoint in the excellent craftsmanship. Honestly, Mac, you were glazing. You were riding. You were glazing so hard. <laughs> But this line, I have to wake up in the morning and I see it. That was cute. <laughs> I was reading, I was thinking about Dude Mac is, <laughs> I was like glazing. Oh, uh, gotta make sure they know. Yeah, that you're a fucking simp. Anyway, the last part was, my only complaint was that I can't afford to purchase more because it's worth every dollar. And then I replied, you guys can look at the website and read the thing in full. I say, thank you. I'm glad you enjoy the piece. The way you describe my work and its impact brought a tear to my eye. Crying smile face. I appreciate you choosing to buy my work. Also, I offer exclusive coupon codes on my social media, so follow at peace and underscore art on Twitter for more deals. You know, we got a plug. Yeah. So, very nice Friday nights, guys. New painting drop next, not this Friday, but next Friday. So, stay tuned, everybody. I will be doing another painting giveaway and gift cards. I legit look at it every morning. That's so cute. You fucking simp. That's fine. That's cute. I'm glad you like it. Um, Nobody leak. Sub only. Sub only. But I was watching this one TikTok and it was this art artist talking about um, like how to market your artwork. And they were saying you need to have a low range, mid range, and then a high range product price, price points. So right now I have high range because it's paintings, right? So I think in the upcoming months, I will be offering mid range and low range product prices. No, not a full painting will not be $5. That is not what it is. Because my goal, once I'm graduated, Final week of school. Um, my goal is to... Okay, sub only. Nobody narc. My goal is to offer... Or everybody get your corpus suits on. Business meeting. Business meeting. Get your suits on. My goal is every other month... I'll talk about this more in detail during the actual art stream next week. That way art frogs will know it's what I'm planning. Um... I have to make this smaller. I'm distracting myself. I want to do paintings every other month. Like full-size paintings every other month. I still do the replicas as usual. I'll probably only have two in stock versus three. I also want to offer mini paintings. So like a 4x4, four 6x6. Four, six six, and that'll be a mid-price range item. Ranging from 50 to 70. Depending on how long it takes. I also want to do stickers. Um, I'm working with an independent producer at the moment, so that'll probably take a bit. And then I also want to offer, like, art boxes. So it'll have, like, the miniature paintings and then stickers for, like, a combo deal. That's the plan. Smells like beef? No. No. <laughs> no narcs. Um, but that's the plan. Because I want to do a painting drop every other month, and then an art box drop every other month, too. So it'll go, let's say, for example, March um, paintings, April art box. May paintings, June art box. That is the business plan for Q3 and Q4 2023. I think it'll be doable. Because I think doing drops every... Shit. I keep dropping my pens. Um, Because doing drops every two months is fine. Because I had homework and stuff. But now that I'm graduated, I have more time. I, I'm not graduated yet. I have one final week. And then I'm done. And then I have to pay my school $7,000. Hi, Kimari. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Because ultimately, with the lower price items, it will contribute to, like, a larger total sales count, which is what I need to build a baseline reputation. So, look forward to that in the upcoming months. Bonus stream? Yes, sir! Aiko Bobo, welcome in. 
Alright, so I'm I gotta do something for the cool people. I got a tier. Cause I think I unlocked all the upgrades. Yeah. Let's see what I need to do. Okay, whenever I don't play, I forget what I need to do. <laughs> Yeah, so this week, since it's my final week of school, um, my final assignments are just finalizing my resume and then finalizing my portfolio, which I have basically done. So this week I'm gonna prep for launch for the paintings next week. That way that'll go swimmingly. I also, I don't know if I'm gonna take promo photos. I don't have it, cause like, I have an idea for like, photo shoots that I can do. <laughs> But I don't have a photographer. Tomorrow's your birthday? Let's go! Are you gonna do anything? And so many June kids. Not saying you guys are kids. <laughs> Oopsie. guys are glitched. I'm gonna save really quick. I also- I've been playing Cozy Grove offline most every day to grind resources, and I think I've finally figured out how to play the game. I'll go more into detail tomorrow when we play it on stream with everybody else. You ever dinner with your friends? I mean, that's always pretty chill. Are they gonna, like, bring the servers and have them sing for you? Did I go out for my birthday? I didn't. Oh yeah, because we were going to, but then my friend was sick. We might go out to eat for my graduation. Because I'm not walking since it's online. So we're probably just gonna go out to dinner this weekend, maybe. Damn, I got so many followers, holy. the virtual ceremony no it's like five fucking hours and since i'm an online student all they do is they read out your name and then they show your name on like the credits reel at the end for like these are all the graduates of this quarter and since it's the summer ceremony it's gonna be like everybody so i was debating if i wanted to like watch it on stream but i didn't want to like <laughs> i was like wait i should not do that <laughs> i would leak like everything um, so yeah, I might do a graduation stream. I'm thinking about how I want to do it. Like, I might RP. I'm thinking about it. Because 
I've never done a green screen, but I think like green screening myself in front of a podium would be a good bit. I have a few like jokes lined up, but I, I don't have a... I guess I could put a white sheet behind me and then chroma key out the light. I don't know. Okay, what am I doing? I think I'm ready for a crusade. Yeah, I know exactly. They have the chroma key function in OBS. It's cool. You can chroma key out any color, not just green or blue. I just have to find a sheet. Dude, a green tablecloth. Dude, you're so smart. Wait, oh my god, we have green tablecloths. I just remembered. Holy shit. Because, like... The previous tenants left a bunch of shit here, and they left like a bunch of party cups and like the dingy ass tablecloths. They're actually- because I was cleaning out the kitchen today. Um, because we got some like new plates, because a lot of the plates have like- were not microwavable, so we went to the Dyson store and got a whole bunch of plates. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Thank you, Meg. <laughs> I, I probably would have figured that out on my own, but thank you. That made it click. Okay, I'm ready for a run of the day. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. I have to sacrifice somebody. Oh, no. I forgot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mac. <laughs> Little leader. Skeptics and heretics have made their way to our cult, cursing our way of life, but they want to join. Should we welcome them? Yes. <laughs> Does anybody want to join my cult? Use your channel points. Oh no, I don't- I think the only person I have that's level 7 is Mac. Harry. Yeah, I'd have to sacrifice Mac. Yeah, the, the clapping sound bit is gonna be one of my bits. I have other bits planned, too. Oh, no. Oh, I made you into a fucking demon already! Okay, I have to start a crusade and then reset. Everybody hold. Oh, man. God damn. I hate this. I could level up another follower. The only reason why I want to keep this version of back in game is because it's the one that picks up hearts and it's really good. <laughs> Hey, go back home. Where I belong. Dude, PB 34 second run. <laughs> Both my feet are asleep. I feel so weird. Kim went back to work today. Sad. She still needs to clock in here. This is now her second job. Okay, is there a way for me to, like, see my followers? Oh, 
Oh wait, I can tell here in the demon section. You level four. Level four. Level nine. Yeah, I'm gonna have to sacrifice Meg. Fuck! Well, at least I have this guy level three. Same power, so it's fine. Sad day. I think I just need to give more gifts to my followers. Get everybody leveled up. Make it painless? No, you're gonna be in agony. Presents. Oh no. Oh no. All I can do is give people necklaces. Damn. This is not good. Since I gave these two the necklace that makes them harvest bonus resources, they're gonna work in the fields. Well, the immortal trait? I forgot I have one of these. It will never die. Well, this father will never descend. A lot of cool new necklaces in the DLC. I haven't had a chance to look at him yet. <laughs> die, die. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, because I remember the last time we played, I, I indoctrinated like eight people at the end. In. Ooh, but you don't got many birds. If you want to join my cult, all I gotta do is use your channel points. <laughs> Hello. I was gonna say quiff, but I don't- that's not the right word. <laughs> Welcome in, Mac. May peace be in you. Oh no, you're angry, I forgot. Go to jail. <laughs> you're going in timeout. Justified. Okay, now we're ready to go start Anchor Deep after I make some food. Now I am ready. Oh no, my... Uh, the, the potion wore off. The drugs wore off. Damn it. The game keeps stalling.
wait on these because I don't have many bones left. So I'll wait till I get back to do a ceremony. Or a ritual. Hate when the drugs stop working. Me too, man. No, the worst thing... Because back when I had a cycle... Like, I would just, like, have ibuprofen. Apparently, you should not be guzzling too much of it. But it was the worst when it started wearing off. Because, like, I, I would bring some to school, like, in my backpack, because you weren't technically supposed to bring ibuprofen. <clears throat> so, like, on the days where I forgot to, like, sneak little pills in my pocket were the worst. Because it would only really last through, like, fourth period, so, like, the last two periods of my day would be agony. Because <clears throat> we had six classes. Okay, now! Now let's go! Sad. Goodbye, Mac. You served me well. Your death will not be in vain. Unless... Okay, let's see it. I'm gonna... Get some tears. Oh, lore. Lore update. <clears throat> I recall Leshy. Prior to yourself, he was the last to bargain with me. Adept he was, he rose quickly to the challenges of godhood, aided by his siblings. Many were drawn to his chaotic ways. Oh, I have eight tears. Holy. I should have done this after, I just realized. <laughs> Ooh, Forgotten Commandment Stones. You found enough fragments to form a Forgotten Commandment Stone. You can use Forgotten Commandment Stones to declare doctrines that you previously did not choose. <gasps> Dude, that's huge! That's huge! Ooh, that's really good, actually. Why is he so angry? I didn't do anything. I'll do that later. To anchor deep, I go. Dude, this juice is so bad. Ooh. It was like $4. For 32 ounces? It's not bad, but... Ugh, it's not good. Lore update! I don't... Although renowned recreant amongst his peerage, Calamar was masterful in the, in the repression of his underlings through ague. Free to play, the creatures of Anchor Deep strike with renewed vigor. Heed caution as thou travel therewith. Uh, it's like it's some probiotic juice. I think it's just pressed fruit juice, but it's kind of like fibery. It's supposed to help with my digestive system. I mean, honestly, I just saw it in the grocery shop this morning and it said healthy, like probiotic health. And I was like, okay, I'll try it. Because I got grocery money today, so whenever I get like a fat stack of grocery cash, I'm more inclined to buy things I don't, we don't need. <laughs> oh, I forgot, I have a hammer. Oh no.
I have to relearn how to play with the hammer because I think any attempt with anchor GP always get a hammer. But I think, yeah, I have the, like, I have the godlike hammer, so I'll be fine. This remix version sounds nice. The Arachnid deals poison damage to enemy struck. <laughs> this version of the song sounds happier. Oh no. What I do like about the hammer mechanic is that it forces you to slow down and like actually think about every move that you do. Okay, higher chance of relics spawning or curses consume 50% less fervor. I'll do the curse one, I don't care too much for the relics personally. When killing an enemy, 10% chance of healing or overall weapon damage increased by 1.2. Since I have the godlike hammer, it already does a lot of damage, more than I already need. So, I'll do the 10% chance of healing. I gotta see. Oh, you can see the mic. Ew, ew. I changed my mic settings. Like, I added a limiter. So it sounds like more compressed, which is fine, but it'll cause my mic to peak a little bit less. I don't know. I don't know shit about audio. I just look at the little Twitch tutorial videos and I do what they say. Whoa, there's a lot of pads. I think I'll go to the left, because that has a mystery and then two shops. Ooh. I'll take the heart. Also, these jellyfish are new. Those never used to float around. Seven potato. Oh no, what is this? No, this is new. Oh my god, you look cool though. Oh 
Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, these guys need to stop. take you home okay the only reason why I did well is because I had the godlike hammer Ooh. eye of the witness Whoa, welcome in I was watching a bot I didn't notice you were alive <laughs> well hello hello welcome in can we get some yo's Oh wait, Wolf, have you played any of the new DLC? Midas. Esteemed patron, what a small world, fancy seeing you again. What is that smell? Do you never wash? <laughs> Take care not to get lost. Things seem to get lost here all the time. So easy to misplace one's gold. Stop, bitch. <laughs> He took fifteen hundred dollars. I think we're gonna have to sell some of my followers to recoup the losses. Are you watching the birthday stream, bud? <laughs> Is it still on Twitch? Oh yeah, it hasn't been two months yet. Cause VODs are public on Twitch for two months and then Cause I pay for Twitch Turbo, that way I can have my streams up for longer. Because I honestly think the biggest L... Okay, not the biggest L that Twitch made. But one of the bigger changes that I think hurts channels low subtly is them changing the amount of time a VOD is public on a channel. Because they're only public for seven days now. If you don't have a Twitch Prime or a Twitch Turbo. So it, it sucks. So like, if you don't go live for seven days, like if you're on vacation, then your channel looks dead. That's why my art channel has, like, no VODs on it. But I always archive my stuff on YouTube. I think I'll keep the hammer just so I can practice it. I'll hold on to it. Like in the DLC so far, the remixed versions of the songs is kind of nice. But I, I do like how they added so much to the DLC. And it's also nice that it was free. <laughs> it was like the best birthday gift, not gonna lie. I remember watching the trailer when it came out and then it said April 24th, and I was like, no way! <laughs> I was like, ain't no way. Thank you for your demon wolf. You'll be next in line. I noticed your skill improved drastically. You wanna see something funny? We switched to easy mode for the DLC just so we can power through it. <laughs> I 
I do think it's funny. I like randoms coming in thinking that I'm correct, but it's just easy mode. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I mean, but I have gotten better, like, a little bit. Like, I'm spamming a lot less. And I have gotten better at dodging. I'm not coping. <laughs> Allah's teeth. Rain down a storm of lightning upon the non-believers. Okay, this power-up never worked. Anytime it had the lightning cutscene, it would crash the game. I hope they fixed it. You did better in medium mode? I kind of agree. Because when the enemies have more health, you do have to, like, do more combos. Like, be better with your dodging and stuff. But you know what? I'm pushing through it. For the, like... Whenever- If there's, like, a main, main boss at the end of the DLC, then I'll do regular mode. I won't scam. Well, this guy's new. Oh, no! It follows me! If you kill the jellyfish, yeah, I switched my police back to the yellow one because having the blue hearts was fine, but it was hurting me because I couldn't get normal heals throughout the runs. And I started off with the yellow fleece, and I think it makes sense because I like the damage boost. Especially when you have, like, the higher power weapons, like the, um, like the hammers, they do so much more damage. Because, see, my damage boost is at 110, so I basically do double damage. Thank you for the follow! Plus one, everybody! If you want to hang out for the sub bowling stream, I gotta do a sub for free with Prime! Hello. <laughs> Chatting. Have you guys seen anybody play the only up game? I think I could be good at it, but I ain't never playing that shit. No, watch some videos on it. Like, all the streamers are playing it. It's like... Um, getting over it, but you have to, like, climb obstacles in the sky. Okay, increase curse attack damage by 1.25 or drop black ichor when you roll. I'll do the ichor. Because I already have a curse attack increase. Ooh, a gauge card! <laughs> Ooh, plus a blue heart or attack rate increased by two. Okay, I'm gonna look up what attack rate is. Because if attack rate is... Oh shit, I opened a text. Fuck me! It's gonna say that I read it now. Okay, make phone streamer for a second. Um, Cult of the Lamb, attack rate, meaning. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't tell me what it means. That's dumb. That's actually dumb. I assume, like, the speed in which you attack? Because, like, I think that's what it means.
Sorry, megaphone, streamer, megaphone, streamer. Yeah, that's what I assumed attack rate is, but it doesn't seem like when I spam, it doesn't seem like I spam any quicker. But I'll do it. I'll see what it does. Oh, okay. I see the difference now. It makes the attack animation go quicker. Look. Look how much faster that is now. Okay, so attack rate is... How fast the attack animation goes. Do that. Okay, I didn't... I never realized. Now I know. Because I usually never go for that tarot card. So I guess I should only really go for the attack rate increased tarot card if I have a hammer. Yeah, hammer with time two is OP. I never tried it. Look how fast that is now. That's almost as fast as a sword or an axe. Okay, 20% chance of getting a blue hammer and killing an enemy. Because I think the normal, like, animation for the hammer to play is one full second. And a lot of the enemies, it's hard to protect. Oh, wait. Oh, no. It's hard to predict where they're going to go. Okay, chatters, you know what time it is. Everybody go gamba. Do you think I will beat the boss first try of the day? First run of the day. Times two dagger goes crazy. Ooh, I do want to try that. I'll have to try the attack rate tarot cards more now. Now that I know what they actually do. Because I thought they just, like, increased your speed in general, but they increased the speed of the actual animation. A megaphone streamer. My friend is sad. <laughs> Dude, it sucks, because, like, I'm, like, sad all the fucking time. So, one of my friends is, like, my support, and whenever, like, I'm having a good day, then they're sad. It, it just- it, there's never been a day where we're both happy. <laughs> I hate depression. Guys, don't worry, it's normal. Okay. Go back to it. Man, 89% believe? Holy moly. I mean, this fight should be easier because I do have the attack rate times two for the hammer. I have poison damage. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I'm forgetting, like, everything! Also, the colors are so hard to see. Oh, easy. No, the color shift is weird, because see how everything is, like, that pastel green? It was hard to see the directional arrows on the ground, because for those enemies, they will have an arrow on the ground for which way they'll, like, dash towards you. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> Oopsie. Actually speed running. Okay, maybe what I'll need to do is for the actual boss fights, I think I will change the difficulty back to normal. I think that is fair. So everybody remind me. Because the main reason why I chose to do like easy mode is just to get through the dungeon part. I think that's what I'll do from now on. I'll do easy for the dungeon, and then whenever I get to the final boss, I will go to normal difficulty. Damn, 17 minute run, not bad. Not bad at all.
Did I beat the boss? Yes, sir. Screw the doubters. Oh, no, my faith is at, like, zero. Oh, no. Awkward. I'm so sad that Mac died. In game. I assume for the spider section, we're gonna have to level up another person, so I'm gonna level up my highest. I don't want to sacrifice any of the main villains, like Leshy and all that, that Jay is. Why did nobody clean this up? We literally have a station in which you guys can clean up the dead bodies. Oh, there's loot. Look at all these bodies. Everybody, gather up, gather around. Gather up. <laughs> gather around, my children. Non-subs, if you're watching this, get fucked. <laughs> Add time. Okay, so I'm gonna do the curses that make people hate me. Everybody give me money, give me your prime subs, I'm broke. I got robbed of 1500, I'm sorry. Also, chatters. This week, I'm waiting on a phone call from the government for my disability benefits, so they said they don't know what time they'll call me. It'll be any time this week. So if I say I need to make a business call, then you guys have to, like, behave. Will be good. I'll just put on, like, a little YouTube video. Because the call is either going to be, Hey, Peason, you got approved. Here's your fat stacks. Or, Hey, Peason, we're sorry. You're not disabled enough. <laughs> I hope for the best. Me too, man. Me too. Yeah. If I get denied again, I'm going to lose my mind. Dude, everybody's so angry. Why? It's almost like you guys hate me or something. Facial expressions for when they're mad is hilarious. They're all like, uh. <laughs> they're like, how are you such a bad leader? Come on. Everybody give them shiitake mushrooms and now they'll all love me. I wonder if there's like a max amount of followers you can have in your village. I want people, I want it to be overpopulated. Now everybody's so happy.
Oh wait, I can do that thing now. Where I can go back on an ordinance. Right here. Declare forgotten doctrine. There was one where I think it gave me negative faith if I have a prisoner. So I think I can undo- Oh no, I didn't- Oh, okay. Ignore me. Oh, it doesn't- I can't go back. Okay, Ritual of Resurrection. Perform a ritual at your temple that allows you to bring a dead follower back to life, or... All cult members will gain the belief in sacrifice trait. 20 faith when another cult member is sacrificed. I thought I could back. I thought I could go back, but I can't. Um... I think I have this one. And honestly, I don't believe in resurrection. I think you should not do the dark arts. Wait, I can bring Mac back. I'll do this one. Because Mac was a high level follower. Wait, I can just sacrifice my high level followers and bring them back if I can. Because if I can do that, then I can just keep leveling up Mac to open the gates. Both of those doctrines are kind of shit. I'll be honest. Okay, we're gonna keep this guy as default. Because I like how they look. Okay, so Wolf, you'll be the next follower that we find. I kind of want the... the bosses to get the longer life expectancy. Let's get ready for another run. Ooh. Wait, this one gives me hearts. Not bad. So new line new lineup is gonna be Tai Tai, the one who waits. And then Witness Astaroth. Okay, I'm gonna write these down, that way I don't forget. Oops, I opened why did I open Discord? <laughs> okay, Tai Tai. Witness. And then one who waits. Because I need to keep on leveling up the same demons.
Ethan has died. Sad, Ethan. Did I beat the one who waits in medium mode? Yeah, I think what I had to do for the final fight was I I did like the first half like the phase where it has the two grunts and then the actual one who waits like tackling you. I think I did that part in medium mode and then I did the third phase with the eye in easy. Because the third phase Oh, spoilers! Sorry! Trigger warning! Because <laughs> the third phase with the eye it had way too many projectiles and I think I did easy mode for that half. I do want to do a stream because I'm working on my offline save um, to get to the final boss fight. I will do a stream ends when I beat the one who waits hardest difficulty. I will do that for a stream, but I need to like... We'll save that for when I actually beat the DLC because that way like I'll hopefully like get better at combat to like handle the hardest difficulty. Because I can see that stream taking like five hours. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> but I, th I think it'd be fun. The too many bosses were harder than the eye part? Really? I think the mini bosses, once you learn their patterns, they weren't that bad. It was just like having to go through that whole fight with only like six to seven hearts was the hardest part. Ooh, tarot cards right away. Uh oh. Twenty percent chance of getting a blue heart and killing an enemy, or enemies have a chance to drop a fish. I'll do the blue heart. I'm really bad at projectiles still. I I I always forget that I could just dodge, but I always like run out of the way. I could just dodge the room. Harvest bonus resources or higher chance of relics spawning. I want the resources. I don't care too much for the relics. Like, I think to me the relics are just like a one-time use curse, and it's, it's kind of dumb. Okay, so that projectile that follows me doesn't follow me for too long. Oh no, I clicked the wrong button. There we go. Why are you breaking it? That's the heavy attack. setting. Oh, I can't. Ah, oh, shit. I might have to die. <laughs> yeah, there's not enough time for the teleporting animation to play. Yeah, there's not enough time. I don't know why my heavy attack isn't breaking his shield there. Shit. Yeah, I might have to... I might have to die.
Yeah, because he had a shield, but the heavy attack wasn't breaking it. <laughs> Why is the whooshing sound still playing? Me cleaning? <laughs> oh no, it's still playing. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> Damn. Maybe I needed a heavier, like, weapon. Because the hammer was able to kill him one shot. No, two shots, I think, last time. Hmm, peace I do, hmm. So I guess I got unlucky that I got an axe on that spawn. Oh no, I don't want to make poop. is dissenting now. What are you doing? Huh? Stop! You go to jail! Haha! <laughs> Just like I ever know. <laughs> Teehee! See, Kim isn't here to defend herself now. Now we're just like, being bullies. Wait, Tai Tai is a demon. Shit. There's an auto cook in an auto fish setting. I knew about the auto fish. I didn't know about the auto cook, but with the in the DLC, there's a new building where you can basically make a kitchen, and like what I just did. Where you can queue up meals for your followers to cook for you, and I find that a lot easier. But both work. I don't do, I don't like the fishing mechanic in the game, I think it's kinda of boring. That's why like I never fish in game. Okay, let's get ready for another run. Yeah, you should download the DLC, man. It's free. It's been out for almost two months. But they added a lot. We didn't see you there, sir. Farmer. Great leader. We would love you if you could cook us some splendid vegetable feast for our sustenance. Yeah, I can try that. I don't know if I have all the ingredients, though. Oh, right here. Now time for another run. Surely I won't die. Yeah, I th I feel like the DLC like refined the base game.
And they added a bunch of like more subtle mechanics. Like they added the heavy attack, which I don't use too much, but they did add like almost something to every part of the game. I know some people are like, I hate DLC. Why can't game devs just release a whole game, huh? But to me, if a DLC is free, okay, or inexpensive, I think it's fine. Or like gradually adding new mechanics or features every, let's say, six months, I think it's good. Ooh, Kudai's toenail. Summon a new curse. Oh, I hate that. No, I don't want that shit. Like, I feel like the Martin Kart DLC makes sense. But the only thing it added was new tracks, but most of the tracks we've already seen at some point in like a different iteration of the franchise. Oh my god! What even hit me? Because I think if you release a game that has like too much in it, then it's gonna be overwhelming to a lot of users. Like, I feel like if we would have gotten the Cult of the Lamb released with all the features it has now, I don't think it would be too overwhelming. But to me, I think the reason why I like this DLC so much is that they added things that like made sense. Like, it's not like they added just new skins. They added new mechanics, new buildables. Because essentially, if somebody were to play the game now, having never played it, they would essentially have a, a full game. Since the DLC was free. Dude, it sounds like I'm glazing up Code to the Lamb, but I'm not. I'm not sponsored. Unless... <laughs> Were people sponsored to play this game? I don't remember. Okay, chatters, would you cancel me if I took a hashtag ad for a game? Not saying that I would. But... <laughs> Granted, I would only take a sponsorship if I got, like, a good bag. Like, all the sponsorships you see through... Um... Like, labs or elements? They're all kind of bad. Um, forever replenishes fully when entering a new combat room, or when hit down to half heart, all enemies will be dealt two damage. I'll do the two damage. Because with a lot of the Streamlabs sponsorships, you just get paid a portion of the sales. You don't get like, ooh, receive double health when healing? Ooh. So for example, if you play a mobile game and with your download code, 10 people download the game, you get like a hundred bucks or something. Depending on how much compensation you get per download. So you don't get paid for the time in which you're shilling, in which you have a panel in your about section. When if you think about a normal sponsorship with like a celeb or something or an influencer, they get paid per hour, they get paid royalties sometimes, if it's like an ad spiel. So it's like... I'm not going to do any of the commission type sponsorships. They're kind of BS. Like, you got to give me a flat hourly rate or a big sum at the start and then a coupon code on top of that. Let's see, I need more followers. So I'll go down the center path. Imagine chatters. <laughs> what if 
You know how I have the art website? Exclamation shop and chat everybody. New paintings coming out next week. What if- okay. What if I had an advertising budget and I sponsored streamers to shill my paintings? How would that even work? It's like... It's not like a- like artwork has a practical use to it. And I think when it comes to a lot of the user base online, they don't want a service. They don't necessarily like aesthetics. They want something that they can use, right? So how would you even shill paintings as a hashtag ad? <laughs> oh, who's this guy? Ratu. Hello there, Crusader. If you make it through the next combat rooms without taking no damage, I'll rustle you up a reward. But if you fail, then alas, not for you. Okay, I can do that. I think I can damage this run incoming. Imagine you take damage. I mean, there's like a... You guys want to do prediction? Let's do a prediction for this, because this doesn't happen often. Take damage? Okay, gamblers, you know what to do. Do you think I'll take damage in this part of the dungeon? Imagine I take damage right away. <laughs> I won't, I won't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus. Try hard mode. nightmare room though projectiles the guy who spawns enemies oh my god there is way too much i want this guy to die some yo's hi ryan they literally gave you all your weaknesses in one room i know they were rigging it against me give me something good a single red part was sacrificed Weapon damage has been increased. Okay, that wasn't the best. I already have my cloak and I have a hammer. Oh, wait. There's rules for this dungeon. I didn't see it. It says enemies health halved, but I received double damage. Okay, that's actually really bad. Increases chance to spawn better chests or damages everything on the screen with a diseased heart. I'll take a diseased heart. I'll take it.
Okay, this one can do a crit. They're both the same attack attack uh, amount though. Stiggy's tongue spawn bombs across the floor. We haven't seen this one yet. Finally, the boss room is near. Why is there nine rooms? No, I'm only switching to medium once I get to the doors, okay? Not now. Not now. I have to get through nine rooms. But thank you for reminding me. <laughs> I did tell you to do that. Ooh, Laura update. Babu. Limbo. Babu. Ah, <laughs> hello, me, mighty lamb. Babu. I tell you, things have really changed. Monster Beast Top Heart is true, and that is themselves quick, but... The booty! Oh, the booty! Pervert. I really like this curse as much. I think I already have a projectile curse, so I'll hold on to the one that I have. Boss room is right here. Uh oh. I don't have a lot of health. Oh no. Good luck. Thank you. Demons aren't giving me hearts. What are they doing? Okay, y'all know what needs to be done. Prediction time. Do you think I'll beat the boss on this attempt? First time seeing him. Also, as promised, I'll move it back to normal mode for the boss fight. Oh, no. Everybody go gamba. Th this might be an elf. Oh, it, oh, <laughs> no, they bounce off the walls. Stop moving. Wait, I forgot I make curse. See? Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, that was a mistake. That was horrible. Oh my god! How 
What's that? Medium mode. Was that actually medium mode? Okay, I was not capping. It was medium. Did I get a boost from my hammer? No way. Okay, now you guys can't say I scammed because I actually beat it on normal. Easy. Look, nobody believed. Nobody believed. Look at all your little points. They're gone. Okay, the part at the end when I spawned all the bombs, it was actually really bad. Because all the little grunts this boss had spawned were the ones that ricochet off the walls. So whenever the bombs went off, everything ricocheted and that was bad. But I think the only reason why I won is because I have the highest level hammer. So I think maybe hammer is the strat for the DLC stages. Just so you can beat the final fights quickly. So you can probably just get to the final room tank and then just use your stronger attacks. But damn, that's kind of not underwhelming, but I did as didn't think I'd make it. <clears throat> Maybe I'm actually good at this game? Hmm. He's I too. Hmm. I think I'll keep the game on normal for now. I'll try it. Thank you, thank you. This will definitely win their heart. So now I'm officially halfway through Anchor Deep. Okay, so we had Wolf Redeem. Yeah, that looks red. Everybody's sick. <laughs> it's so funny whenever the mushroom curse ends. Everybody's just racing to the bathrooms. I'm gonna heal everybody up before I go for another run.
one who waits. He's just sleeping by the ship. <laughs> he was sweeping. Too tired. Let's take a nap right here. <laughs> oh. He has no decency. Now let's see if we can bring Mac back. Please. They were like a level nine. Oh, is this everybody who's dead? guess if they die of natural causes, then that's fine. But if they're sacrificed, then you can't bring them back. Damn! Yeah, I'm gonna see what my highest level person that's dead. Well, level 4? Okay. And a lot of level 4s, but they're all old. Okay, I'm gonna bring back a level four and see if they spawn again old. Wait, are they young? No way. Oh, where'd they go? Where are they? Okay, well if I can make them into a demon, then that means they're young again. Wait. This version of Kobo Bo, level 4, was old as shit when they died. I brought them back to life, they are now young again. This is game changing. Because now, I can never have an issue of losing followers. I can just bring them back. Because if they're young, they can work. This is their eternal hell. This is the capitalist hellscape that we live in. You live to work, you die, and then you work again. Hmm. Man, I should have had that... Ordinance the whole time.
Yeah, it's on cooldown, so I can't do it every day. Oh, I only have three bones. Hmm. Peace, I too. Hmm. Okay, so these just increase the heavy attack damage, which is fine. But I'm gonna upgrade the axe first, because the axe didn't break that guy's shield the last time. So hopefully now that it's stronger, it will. I wish you could pin certain followers at the top, that we don't gotta scroll the, every time. Um, developers, get on it. Please, leader. I wish to be more used to you. I have so much more to offer. Say, why don't you let me enforce the tax collection of this code? Yeah, why not? Filthy capitalist wolf. <laughs> oh, this was Coast Bobo's grave. Huh. I guess I can just make it so that everybody comes back to life in my cult now. I'm definitely gonna need more houses. Okay, I'm starting this run on normal difficulty once again. Let's see how I do. Dagger.
Okay, normal mode doesn't seem that bad. For now. Double the health when healing or gain an extra heart. I'll do double the health when healing. 10% chance to deal a crit or gain an extra heart. I'll do the heart right now because I think I'll need it. Calamar, free me. Let me out. No, this is the worst. Oh, my God. Bad outcome, bad ending. Oh, there's two of these guys. This is like the worst weapon to have in this room too. There's gonna be like two more waves. I think if I would have had at least an axe, I could have gotten through it. But since the dagger is such close range, that is not good for such a cramped space like that. Damn. I don't think a hammer would have done, done much good either. But since that room was so small, maybe you could have hit like two enemies at once with a hammer. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. That's all right. I'll get him next time. Ten bones. Hmm. Not looking so good. Have no fear, I will still beat Anchor Deep today.
You're free, Mint. Better not misbehave again. What's my favorite feature they added in the DLC? I think just the whole like alternate versions of the normal crusades. Cause it gave you like so much more content to play. Cause once you beat the one who waits, it's kinda like just building your base. Like you could go back on the previous crusades, but they weren't that much different. The Endless Mode, I think, had possibilities, but the only issue with the Endless Mode is that you, have, you leave your base for so long, it's not good if you want to, like, focus on building your base. But when, when they announced that they were redoing the Crusades, that was surprising to me, because I was like, oh, that's gonna be, like, a whole new game then. And the buy starting screen? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just for my birthday. Time for another run. Oh no, Kim has died! Oh no, peace I 27 to Kim. Imagine if they released it during Pride Month. They would get cancelled by the woke mob, you know that. <laughs> it does feel like this year's Pride Month is, like, the worst ever. You know, Target pulling their Pride line. It seems like there's so much more outward expression of, like, hatred of the community. Like, in media. And online. And a lot of the... Uh, this is a bad take incoming. I kind of liked the fake corporate, like, the rainbow profile pictures. I think that's better than, like, not talking about, like, Pride Month at all. Because I think the point, or the main point, even if it wasn't, um, conveyed properly, was 
I guess showcasing some queer voices and kind of normalizing the aesthetics of it. But now that it's kind of like not talked about at all or showcased at all with a lot of the major companies, it's kind of like, do they not side with us at all? Like, huh. Okay, these bugs are gonna kill me. Recognition is a better word than showcasing. That's a much better word. And also, just like legislation that's being passed to limit um, queer people even being like mentioned in schools, or legislation that is basically forcing educators to out their kids. Okay, I said if I die in this run, I'm going back to easy mode. I'm going back to easy mode. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I play for the lore. You know what else is bullshit and ad? If you're a non sub watching a sub only stream, fucking subscribe. But then you get to hang out and chat. Smile. Damn it. This hammer is bad. It's so bad. It looks smaller. Yeah, I totally agree with that. The only reason why they're pushing for that legislation is because people are convinced... Okay, the ones who don't understand it. They're convinced that seeing it in media or it, like queer people in normal life, then it's gonna make the kids gay. But that's not how it works, if that's how it is. The best argument that I hear I said this last week, is if you think being gay or queer is a choice, then, like, go kiss a guy right now. Like, go be gay yourself if it truly is a choice. And if you can't, then that proves the point. Just because queer figures are shown in media doesn't mean it's making the kids gay. It just means you're exposing them to different things. And that's totally fine. Because not everybody is going to have the same lived experience. So ultimately it's best to try to educate yourself and consume different types of media. argument where people are like well there's so many more gays now and it's like yeah because people feel like they can be more honest when they fill out those surveys and also gay marriage was only legalized in 
2015 or 2016? So that's, it's been barely like, it's not even 10 years. And even then, people aren't truly gonna feel safe enough to express themselves, truly. I was reading this one article this morning and it was talking about Elemental and the headline was how Disney failed at representing LGBTQI people. And I saw the movie in theaters this past week. I won't go into too much detail, but there's like a queer couple and it's very like subtly alluded to in the movie because there's this one scene where they're introducing each other to the other person's family and one of their siblings is like non-binary and then they have like a girlfriend and then they're like oh this is so and so and this is their girlfriend so and so and they just said hi and i remember sitting in the theater i was like oh that's cute that's cute because i think the thing that a lot of people misconstrue with perception of queer people in media is that we just want to be seen as normal like, not every queer person is, like, the bombastic, super extra, like, queer, right? Like, if you just represent us as, like, normal-ass fucking people, then people who aren't necessarily as receptive to the community might be more open to it. Because at the end of the day, we're all human. And a lot of the right, um... Hyper focuses on like drag queens or the very outwardly gay people. When in actuality, yes, that is part of the community, but that's not how everybody is. And I think that scene was like really nice. It was very subtle. It wasn't too in your face. And it, it kind of shows that queer people are always there, you know? Honestly, queer couples aren't like animals in exhibit. Like, we just want to be accepted, not worshipped. Yeah. I agree. Like, people might not like that take that I have. But... Because when you're working for any type of, like, branding or media, you have to think about how the general public will receive something. It's kind of like... You have to make it digestible, I guess. Because if somebody doesn't necessarily understand it, it's gonna look strange. Because to me, the biggest... Or to me, the most common misconception I hear from, like, non-queer people talking about queer people is they just think we're fucking weird. And yeah, that's not cool, but if you just portray us as like fucking normal ass people who like have a house, have a, have kids, you know, in like a normal ass relationship, then I think that's totally fine. And I think another problem is like just media tends to like hyper um, sexualize queer people in the sense of they just think that we're like, we're banging, and that's all we do. And it's like, no. It's not just about like smashing, it's like you can still like love somebody in a like romantic way. It's not just about like banging. I have an axe. I thought I had a hammer. <laughs> Allah's teeth. Rain down a storm of lightning upon the non-believers.
anyway, that's my TED talk. Thank you for coming. Man, I love the easy mode. Increases chance to spawn better chests or gain an extra two hearts. Two hearts, please. Immune to poison or increase curse attack damage. I'll do immune to poison just in case. There's not many poison enemies in this world, but I don't use my curses till the very end anyway. a cool mechanic for this game is if they had a parade function. I think the only thing similar is sometimes you can ricochet an arrow. But if they had a parade, I think that'd be sick. That way you're not just spamming, like you're actually timing some of your attacks a bit more. Dev's good on it. Ooh, bones! I want a bones room. I need me some bones. Damn, I have so much health, I just realized. Holy. Do you think you're gonna play Cuphead in the future? Um, Cuphead is a sub goal stream. Look at my about section. I regret the day that I have to play Cuphead. Because it will happen. I think Cuphead is only fun if you're really good at it. And watching somebody play Cuphead is only fun if they're really good at it. And I know I'm gonna be so bad. I dread the day. Connor Eats Pants is pretty good at Cuphead. I like watching him play. Okay, I don't like this relic. It summons a new curse, which is kind of dumb. The day you play Cuphead might be the day you get significantly younger viewers. Really? Is it really that, like, sick with the kids? That's why I'm never playing fucking Minecraft. I'm- I'm never playing Minecraft. Because Minecraft is for, like, literal babies. Even Fortnite? But thankfully we didn't have any, like, children come into the Fortnite stream. The 
Because you can tell when a chatter is a child. <laughs> you, you can tell. <laughs> oh, no! I haven't seen that happen. Oh my god! Dude, fuck this room! Your younger cousins are playing it? Oh no. <laughs> no! What is that? Okay, I'm fine. When did I first hear Cuphead? Probably when I was in like... I remember watching Jacksepticeye play it. When I was in like high school. Is the game really that old? Oh, oh, I'm immune to poison. Okay, the boss room is right here. There was one more room that I didn't see, though. Wait, is Cuphead on mobile? I genuinely think any game that has mobile capabilities, the younger generation will flock to it. When killing an enemy, 10% chance of healing or plus one blue heart. I'll take a blue heart. It was released in 2017? Wait, that was after I graduated. <laughs> well, whatever. I lied. Oh no, this room is bad. Oh no. Oh no, this was a mistake. Just like all my other life decisions. Whoa! Dude, this axe is sick! Upgrading it definitely helps. Stop! Oh, I lost literally all my health in this room. very bad. This is very, very bad. As promised, whenever I go to a boss fight, I will go back to normal mode. Everybody go gamble. Do you think I'll beat it? First time seeing this guy, I think. Man, 3.8k in doubt, holy shit. I am immune to poison, though. Oh, no! Heavy attack. Oh, my God! Wait, I forgot I had my relic. I could have zapped him. Okay, well, that seems like a fight that I, I would have to tank. Because there's way too many projectiles. I would have to tank. Hmm. Peace, I too. Hmm. Does anybody want to join my cult? You can use your channel points.
Do you miss the peace I two punch era? Yeah, I miss the spam meadows. Y'all need to get back on it. I mean, to me, the, the spam chat metas only really work when you have a semi-active chat room. So I feel like they will come back during summer. Because I think for my local district, school gets out this week. Because the high schoolers graduated a week ago, I think. I don't know any kids in the area. I just see, like, less kids on the bus now. So I can only assume... Before I forget? Oh, what the fuck? See, hey, back to easy mode. Summer started in May? Really? Damn. You've been off for almost a month. Sheesh. Guys, this is my final week of college. And then I'm gonna be free from the shackles! Congrats, thank you. Imagine I fail in my last week. <laughs> I love the gauntlet! This is gonna be a good run, I feel it. Oh, I forgot! Up goes the debt. Wait, Wolf, I don't know if you heard, but I owe my college $7,000. <laughs> it's because I fucked up my fast but I didn't request enough money. So I have my 25000 in student loan debt that hopefully Biden will wipe. Please. Sir Biden, please. Um, and then I owe an additional seven k But you know, it's fine. It's fine. Because I, I, they'll just, they won't mail me my little diploma. I can still request my transcript, though, which is very good. Because some colleges will withhold your transcript as well. So, kiddos, whenever you go to your college, review their policies concerning outstanding balances at graduation. And, like, sometimes, let's say you go to a college... And then you want to transfer schools halfway through the program. Or like if you get your associates and you want to transfer to a different school to get your bachelors. They can also withhold your transcript there if you have an outstanding balance at your first college. And your transcript. So make sure you review whatever policies your college has. When you're applying or if you're currently in. And make sure you request enough FASMA. Unlike me. Stop! Oh my fucking god. The projectiles is the worst thing in this game. Developers, can you remove it? Please. I'm a brokey. I don't need money. I'm just gonna steal the nuggets. Honestly, controversial take, I think 
college should be free. Because if you think about it, if higher education was free or very cheap, don't you think more people would pursue it? Like, don't we need more doctors? Also, college used to be free up until the 60s, and the only reason why it costs a premium now is because they wanted to exclude minorities from the higher education system. Because of segregation. Because in the 60s, they were like, well, we can't legally be racist anymore, so now let's make college a million dollars. It wasn't a million, but you know what I mean. When I learned that fact, I was taken aback. I was like, what the fuck? That's insane. What people will do to be racist? Okay, this path has no combat. I love this path. A new follower? Oh, it's an otter! That's so cute! I don't think we have an otter yet. Uh, Chatters, if you want to join my cult, use your channel points. I'll make a follower in your honor. It's the sacrifice your redemption. Mm -hmm. Thank you for redeeming Ryan. You are first in line to join my cult. Switching to the hammer. Oh, you have a summer class? Ew! But yeah, enjoy your lurk, man. I never had to take any summer classes when I was in high school. And for college, I, the only summer break we had was like a... I think we had a two-week break one year, and then the next year we had like a one-year break. So I never had like a full summer break ever since high school. It's fine, I'd rather get through my degree quicker. Oh no, Fibri has died! But the only kids who could take a summer class in my district for high school were, um, like the kids who failed. And they had, like, some college prep classes, but that was if you went to, like, private schools. And then. Like, for if you have, like, an AP class, because the AP classes were hosted at, at some of the high schools in my district. Um, they had, like, summer homework, but they never had, like, a summer class. It 
it's an optional class? Okay. I mean, I think it's, it's good, you know. Just, like, know your limits. Like, don't be working yourself to the bone all year, you know? Enjoy your youth! Okay, the boss room is right there. I'm very close to the end. <laughs> your mom had you play the summer educational games? <laughs> That's so cute. I remember, like... Did y'all have the summer reading programs? Where I grew up, I was, like, on the edge of two, like, districts. Or two counties, sorry. So, I could go to, like, two different libraries, so I could compete in both of their reading competitions. Because you could only participate in one, like, one entry per county, but since I lived in the border, I could compete in both reading competitions for both counties. But I never won a prize! Because it, it was all like random drawings, and I never won, and I was sad. Gain an extra half a heart, or fire a projectile when you swing your weapon. Five second cooldown. I'll do the projectile. They stopped their reading program because lack of participation? What? What? <laughs> That's stupid. Dude, I hate America. What's cool is that the city I live in now, it's like very densely populated, so there's like four libraries. It's crazy how many there are. Oh, the summer projects? Oh, never mind. We love America, actually. Wait, I saw these cookies at the store. You know the little round ones, the pre made ones? With the little doughboy on it? <laughs> it was called Salute the Troops, I think, and it had an American flag on the cookie. <laughs> They were like five dollars though. For like a 20 pack. It was crazy. Everybody go gamba. Also, look, look, look. I am changing the difficulty to normal. I'm upholding my wood. I have four hearts. Oh, this is not enough to tank. I'm gonna do my curse. Take that. Oh my god, there's- there's way too many on the screen! Oh my fucking god! This is stupid! This is dumb! Dream ends when I beat Anchor Deep. Mods change the title. How am I gonna beat this one? I guess... I just have to keep dodging. That's the only thing I can do. This one's gonna stump me for a bit. That was my second attempt, I think? Side two, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the one who waits. The lecture was being was a being of chaos. The un the unordered beauty of his realm. I wonder if the flowers still grow without his presence. Oh, no, I, oh. I don't want to go to Darkwood. Darkwood is dumb. Okay, let's bring in Ryan to the gold. Let's see, Ryan's check color is white. Why? <laughs> Why is it white? Well, on my end, Ryan is green. Oh, 
May peace be in you. Oh, Wob is dissenting now. Cool. To jail you go. Do you guys never learn? If you don't listen, you get locked up. I have 137 bones. I need money right now. I can't afford to go into debt. Any more than I currently have. somebody else back to life <laughs> bring back another worker I'm gonna bring back my highest level okay there's level fours Yeah, level four is my highest dead person. That way, subconsciously, they're gonna level up gradually over time. That way, we can sacrifice them later to the gates. Welcome back, Min.
Okay, so new, new lineup is gonna be Tai Tai, Mint, and then the one who waits. Okay, this attempt I have to not take any damage the whole run. This has to be a perfectionist run. That way I can tank hits in the final fight. That's the only way. Maybe I'll get lucky and get a tarot card that negates damage. That'd be epic. Okay, I've already taken two silly hits. Those could have been avoidable. Or overall weapon damage increased by 1.2. I'll take a heart. Thank you for the resub, Kimari. With a prime? Ain't no way. Wait, holy shit, six months? No badge, Kimari. Let's go. You're halfway to a sunflower. Or you're almost at a sunflower. Sunflower's nine months. Let's go. Thank you, Kimari. Can we get some wee Maris in chat? Thank you, Han. You will get your name written at the end of stream. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Plus one blue heart or when killing an enemy, 20% chance of healing. This is what I need! Yes, sir? Good run. Wait, Kimari, do they have Prime in Spain? I didn't know they. Oh no, the Merti has died! Dude, fuck these spider guys. And Spider-Man. Holy moly. Maybe this run is actually good? Okay, I can come back here if I lose a heart in the next room. Actually, never mind. I don't need to.
Okay, either way, there will be a combat room, so I'm gonna go down this center path. That way I can get a relic and items. Wait, this one is increased in size? I've never seen this relic, but I want to see how it works. Is it just like a mushroom power-up where I'm like as big as the screen? I don't know if that'd be helpful during a boss fight though. Would it increase my hitbox? If freezing the boss might be helpful. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. God. I didn't like that room at all, but I didn't take any damage.
Okay, the final room is right there. I'm gonna try... <laughs> I'm gonna try and take my time. Dude, fuck you, man. Stop with the deckers! Oh my god. Benjamin has died! Dude, fuck this! Might be saved. Gimme for arts. Twenty percent more damage during the day, or reveal the map. Why would I reveal the map? I'm literally at the end. That was a waste. Ten percent chance to deal a crit, or enemies will drop two times more forever. I'll do the crit. I don't really need forever. Okay, both of those draws were terrible. Oh, no. more guys with shields. Are bad. Okay, I have four hearts combined now. I'm gonna make the executive decision. I'm gonna keep this one on easy because I, I genuinely don't think I can beat this boss on regular. Everybody go Gamba. Do you think I'll beat it? Okay, pro strat. I'm gonna go big. I'm huge. Oh, I'm... Curse time! Okay, freeze kind of work. Oh, I have one more heart left. Come on! Yeah, I think using the relic helped because it made my hitbox but also like hammer bigger i don't like this one anything with projectiles especially this one since it bounces off the walls i don't know if i can do it I think somebody else has to take the controller. <laughs> oh. oh, there's two people dead. Uh oh. Oopsie.
Panda. <laughs> the one who waits. Excuse me, leader. I just wanted to say that I love you. Thank you. Even though you used to hate me. myself some food because I always forget that I can get another spirit heart I always forget. I should still do sermons even if my faith is locked. Because whenever you do a sermon, each individual father gains a little bit more faith, I think. So it'll help them upgrade faster. Yep, a little bit. There it is. So I had some followers who were like right on the edge of leveling up, and I didn't want to have them make a confession. Also rolling up. <laughs> They're throwing up behind the church. How disrespectful. Jeez, guys, have some decency. I think this run will be the it. I really need this one to work. You know what else needs to be done? An ad. Oops, non subs. Subscribe if you're watching. Easy. This is now the third or fourth time, and I'm getting annoyed. Why can't it be easy? work with a dagger it's plausible
Laplace's dice. 50% chance to heal a heart, or 50% chance to gain a spirit heart. I'm gonna do this just so I can heal throughout. Because this is- it charges slowly. Finally, a decent relic. Seven minutes. Okay, this is the world's worst dagger. Well, oh, that's kind of sick. Okay, the heavy attack goes crazy. Either way, all paths have a combat room. How many hearts am I at? Ooh, maybe I should full heal? Yeah, I think a full heal is the safer path than getting a tarot card. The Eye of Leshy was also good, because whenever you summon it, they orbit around you, and I noticed in that one fight, whenever I got relatively close to the boss, it would count as a hit. So I think now that I have full heals, and because this relic, bottom left corner, it's only half charged and that was about like five minutes. Or no, like three minutes. I think I'm gonna switch for the Eye of Leshy. I feel like this will more likely help me later on, especially since I now have full health. Ten percent chance of healing, or enemies will drop three times from refervor. I'll do healing. In an extra heart, or fire projectile when you swing your weapon. Ten second cooldown. I'll do the projectile.
I ran right into it. Okay, I'm still at full health. I'm good. Fine, Kimari, don't worry about it. I asked if you, you have Amazon Prime in Spain. I didn't realize, because I know it's available in some EU countries. <laughs> Fries. <laughs> I mean, do you guys get the 24-hour delivery still? I mean, I know I, I personally canceled my Prime because my roommate hasn't, so we just use their account. I just have to remember to log into their account on the TV so I can watch shows. I don't like any of these curses. Ooh, left or right? Hmm, peace I too, hmm. You know, I, I always say, right is right. If this is a mini boss, I'm gonna lose my mind. Thank goodness something good in my life actually happened for once. <laughs> oh, okay, I see, Kimari, I see. Yeah, in the States here, usually when you live in more populated areas, your internet is typically better, unless you're in the city. When there's like a fuck ton of people, or when the buildings are too tall, the internet is shit. And then also, like, when you're driving down highways in the middle of nowhere, you get no internet, no cell service. It's so bad. You would think America, a first world country, would have decent internet throughout all parts. Anyway, we hate politics here. We save that for Animal Crossing. Okay. When attacking, 10% chance of negating damage. Very nice. Okay, I'm going into the final rooms. Full hell. A pretty decent relic and a negating damage tarot card. I might actually win. I'm sure to get lost without internet or GPS. Oh, for sure. For sure. Because, like, I know how to read maps. There's been a few road trips where you've had to use maps. But my issue is I can't read the street signs. They're way too small. So if we're like, oh, we need to turn right onto 123 lane. I can't see the street sign until we are right at the intersection. So it's like... It sucks. Ooh, immune to poison? Yes, sir. But I know they have like the, oh, what you call it, dashboard GPS that you don't necessarily need internet for sometimes. Oh no, Jacob has died! PSA27, Jacob. Ice pillars. Because freezing them kind of worked. Yeah, I live in Washington State. That's public information. <laughs> but thank you for asking, or er, permission. Um, so I live on the West Coast. West Coast, best coast. You know, I'm in those coastal elite states. <laughs> but honestly, honestly, I think Washington is the best state. Call me bias. 
But there's like a little bit of everything here. But also everybody's depressed because it's never sunny. That's the only bad thing. Wait, pause. The boss room is right there. I have full health. I can totally tank if I need to. Okay, I might have a, I might have a chance. I might actually win. Please, this has to be the run. Please. I don't want to do this one again. Okay, I literally have full health. 145 damage boost. Is that the state from the Twilight books? Yes. That is right. Okay, I think if I can stay in the center, I'm good. Okay, maybe not. Wait, I'm fighting with the dagger, I just realized. What the fuck? I'm tanking, I'm tanking. Okay, maybe tanking is actually bad. Come on! Come on! Let's go! Okay, finally, it's over! It's over! Finally! Do one and a half hearts left. Thank god I could tank. Oh with a dagger too. I think I think the dagger combined with the eyes. Close range had to be done for this fight. I got so lucky. Oh finally, after four attempts. Oh my god. Finally. Now we can finally do the final boss. And end stream, hopefully. <laughs> My goal was to beat it in three hours, but it's looking like four. Which is fine, I had time today. Damn, a 12 minute run? Not bad. Maybe daggers are my weapon. That was scary. Bye, Kumari. Thank you for hanging out today. Also, thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. I will say later on. Also, happy birthday tomorrow. If we don't see you tomorrow. Don't have too much fun. Forty-eight minutes. Oh, it's real. It's late for you. I forgot. So close. cast from their corner and I'll seek a place to enjoy their final years. Maybe we should let them join ours? Yeah, I love old people.
This is the most boring part of the game, just waiting. It's also because I don't collect from these often, so it's like, oh, you have a million wood to collect. I'm gonna make Koboba the one we sacrifice, so I'm gonna level them up as much as I can. percent chance of the follower dying instantly. Why would anyone do that?
lot of bones, but I do need money right now. I'm a broke, eh? Both of my melee people are old. Gotta go back to Tai Tai. This is my final run of the day. One more boss left in Anchor Deep, and then I'm done. An axe? Wait... Oh my god! I ran right into it! Come on! Look, I always take double damage. I keep on forgetting. Because whenever I get to halfway through a, a crusade, I'm like, why are you so low on health? And that is literally why. Wow, good one. Good one. Ran right into it.
go home. I always forget that I could just teleport home. Yeah, that was a horrid run. That was horrible. Can't have them all. <laughs> Run number two, baby. I'll beat it this time, don't worry. Don't worry. Gauntlet for the win. I have it in the bag now. A single red heart was sacrificed. Diseased hearts received in return. <gasps> oh, Lee, I got three. That's pretty good. The gauntlet does just as much damage as a dagger, but I'd rather have it than an actual freaking dagger. It's a lot easier to control. Receive double the health when healing or when attack 10% chance of negating damage. I'll do double heal. Back projectile when you swing your weapon, 10 second cooldown, or enemies have a chance to drop a fish. I'll do the projectile. Always go with that.
I was just camping. <laughs> Ooh, decrease in size. I'll take it. If I don't get any other relics, I'll try it. I've never seen that one. Okay, damage boost on the gauntlet goes crazy. Because I know it has the three hit combo. So the damage done increases with every hit. But with the yellow cloak? I'm gonna go to the far left path. Because I can get followers and resources. Because the follower rooms aren't that bad if it's a battle room. So well. Maybe this was a mistake. The only good thing is that I lost my diseased hearts, so it's not... To me, they're not as valuable as like a blue heart or a red heart. Ooh, new tarot card. The intangible. Environmental traps cause no damage. Oh, so it's like the... The spike thing. Or arrow. Okay. That might be good. Maybe. Lore, everybody. Munch. Peace be with you, Crusader. I see glory the truth and the light. But I may be of service to you. I can increase the loyalty of any follower you choose. Mm. Oh, Kobobo's a demon right now. Shit. Let's do Najul. That way we can bring Najul back to life and he'll be pretty high level. My work is done! This foe would follow you into the deepest darkness room once no one returns! Thank you. in this dungeon.
seal of the bishops freezes time for a short duration. I need that. I need that. That is going to be very helpful. Helpful. I said helpful, I think. Honestly, I want to keep the gauntlet. It rarely does me wrong. Finally. Nine rooms. Fisherman. What's a little whistle? Hello, kid, mate. I'm just a man. I for walk like men like I to do. Heard that the world is changing. I had to see it for myself. Whistle, whistle. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I can't whistle. It's me fish lips. Cool story, man. I forgot I have the double heals. Okay. I have the double heal with Terra Okay, That's really good. I've made it this far. I cannot afford to fail. But I gotta do it. I gotta face my demons. Everybody go Gamba. I have four and a half red, two blue. I have my relic and a gauntlet weapon. 
I might have a chance. But I don't know this guy's pattern yet. Palomar. Stay back! Stay back! Mercy, Red Crown, mercy! No mercy for you! I think this was the easiest boss. I think? I don't remember. If I could freeze time. Oh, I don't freeze time for long. Oh my god. Holy shit! Okay, I'm just tanking, I'm tanking. Oh my god, what the fuck? I'm taking! <laughs> Welcome home, Calamar. Oh wait, Calamar like Calamari? Well, cause he's an octopus. Easy! That was scary though. I definitely think freezing time at the start helped, and my relic is almost fully charged, so it probably resets every minute. I must click stop streaming. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> okay, I just realized I forgot to switch it back to normal mode. That was my mistake. Or maybe I did that on purpose. Smile. Okay, these here at the edge fucked me up. Let's go home. Finally, it's over. Having witnessed such greatness, and in sharing this truth, the gospel of the Lamb is born. Has it not already been established, though? I've been here for, what, 200 days in-game? Finally. Okay, first, why is everybody at the bathroom? <laughs> Does anybody else want to join the cult? Anybody else? Any more redeemers? Redeemers? Herbs. I'm gonna see what I need to unlock the final door. That way I know what to work for next time. Oh, I only need 17 followers? No way! Huh, I guess I'll buy one now. So we'll work on this next time we play. Oh, they have a scar! They're kind of wicked! I'm gonna do sermons really quick since the day is almost ending. And then we'll wrap it up.
Okay, I'm gonna save here. So the next time we do Cult of the Lamb, we get to do Silk's Cradle once again. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. There were a few hiccups, but I still beat Anchor Deep in one stream. Let's go. Okay, we can wrap it up here for today. And also do some calligraphy, so I'll get some music on. For you guys. Yeah, thank you, Wolf. I'm back. Did you finish your homework? You better have. A gentle reminder, if everybody could check out peaceandart.myshopify.com Ain't no way. What is this? Original artwork? You can buy some art for pride. Wow. So, I have a new painting drop that is going to be next Friday. Not this Friday, but next Friday, June 30th. So make sure you're saving your channel points. That way you can win a gift card or a free painting of your own, everybody. So an exclamation shop and check. Can we get to a million clicks? Smile. <laughs> like I said earlier in stream, I have more things planned in store. Omega Dance. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you for redeeming Wolf. Oh, you gotta wait for your partner? Sad. Dude, I hate that shit. Cause some of my assignments were like, post to a discussion board and then wait for somebody to reply and then reply to their reply. So it's like, if they were stalling, then I had less time to do my half of the work. Oh, dude, my arm hurts. I was doing too much lifting at the gym. Okay, we had a resubscription today. So we get to break out the rich people journal. change my title. Yeah, chatter, spam as much as you want the emote show on the screen.
I was gonna say it's weird to think that Kimari's been here for six months, but I remember Mi Kimari followed and chatted during the Christmas Eve stream. It's wild to think that that much time has passed. Damn, the Christmas Eve stream was wild now that I think about it. I think that was one of my favorite streams of all time. And it's funny because I remember Kimari said they found me on the Animal Crossing Discover tab. <laughs> Out of everything, nobody fucking finds me from the Discover tab. Once again, thank you, Kimari, for the six-month resub. I appreciate it. Hopefully you get better internet so you can chat more. Honestly, I don't watch other streams. Yeah, it, it depends on, like, what type of user you are. Like, some people like personality more, and some people like the game more. I mean, I'm definitely a personality streamer. Like, nobody talks about the fucking game. The only time, like, I've noticed that I talk about, like, the actual gameplay and its me mechanics is Cult of the Lamb. <laughs> Everything else, I'm just like, oh, I play for fun. But I definitely think developing your stream in a way that focuses on your commentary more so than the actual gameplay is the way to go. Because then your viewer base will like you. Not just your silly gameplay. I think you can only become a gameplay focused streamer if you are like pro level. Or if you get sick trick shots all the time. Because I know for my favorite streamers, or YouTubers as well, I will watch literally anything they do just because I like their chat culture or their commentary. Like Ludwig, Hassan, I'll literally watch any stream they do, no matter how stupid it is. Yeah, I wish I would have started playing Cold of the Lamb sooner, because I think I started playing it like two or three months after it came out. Because I personally, I don't, I didn't w enjoy watching people play the game. Like I know Scootish played it, I know Connor Eats Pants played it, like those are the two personalities that I watched who played the game on stream. And I didn't like it. Personally. But I think definitely like playing it is so much more fun than watching an IMO. I mean, I think it's because I'm the type of user to where I don't... When I consume stream content, I don't, like, sit and watch typically unless I'm actively chatting. So, I, it, for me, a big focus for any stream that I watch is the actual audio. So, whether it be, like, the game music or the person talking. But I'm, I'm not the typical Twitch user. Like, not a lot of people... Or I, I would have to say, like, a lot of people do lurk or, like, listen audio only. But I think, like, more people, like, chat or sit down and watch a stream. <laughs> Whenever I watch you play, I must play it afterwards. And see, that's how marketing works. You see something, you gotta have it. It works. Okay, everybody, last call, last name of the day. If you want me to write your name, all you need to do is donate or use your channel points. Any more redeemers? Five. 
four, three, two, one. Okay, everybody, we can wrap it up here for today. I would like to thank any chatters, lurkers, thank you all for hanging out for this bonus subscriber-only stream, real stream for the real fans. Real stream for the real fans. Speaking of marketing, I wonder what time it is. It is time for an ad. I'm gonna run it after I'm done talking. You'll get me one time, Wolf. You'll get me one time. You know why the debates don't work on me? It's because I read the chat message in full in my head before I read it out loud. Like, you know you see clips of people being like, being debated into saying like, these nuts? I will never fall for that shit. The only way I will fall for it, nobody leaks, sub only. Don't tell the normal plebs this. The only way I can fall for a debate is if you send it in two chat messages. So like, well, if you said, speaking of marketing, and then next message, it's time for an ad break, then that would get me. That would get me. So you remember that for next time. Okay. Thank you all for watching. And each us locos, if you don't hear follow the channel, we did get two new follows today. Smile. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow with Mario Kart and Cozy Grove. I finally figured out how to play Cozy Grove offline, so I'm gonna give you all the best tips and tricks tomorrow on stream. Um, before I go, make sure you are following my offline social media. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. Go follow my Instagram. I have no clout. I need clout. Also, we are nearing the end of June, so chatters, if you watch the stream or the VODs, clip the stream. Title it something funny. Chatters like it, I like it. It also helps when I'm editing clips for YouTube or TikTok. Clip what you think is funny and it might get into the best of comp or regular clips because I'm uploading clips edited down all the way from two years ago on my YouTube Clips channel every other day. So go subscribe. Okay, thank you all for hanging out. Bye. Bye-bye. That was fun. I finally beat Anko Deep. Finally. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for hanging out today, Woof. Hope to see you more during summertime. Better do your fucking homework. <laughs> I think it's funny, because Woof, you're like the only chatter who like knows the game. <laughs> so it's fun that you both get to like, I guess, geek out a little bit. I do need to get good. I need to get better. I I legit I will do that stream ends when I beat the one who waits. I will do that stream. I'll do it. Unless no. <laughs> What's the plan for this week gonna be? Let's see. I'm gonna do marker tomorrow. Zelda Wednesday probably. What'll be the one off game this week? I need to go love and peace and art shit. Hmm. Peace and two. Hmm. Because I think what I'm going to start doing for the art channel is I'm just going to, instead of dropping paintings, like, every other month, I'm going to paint them throughout the month. That way you guys can see them as I'm working on them. I think that's what I'm going to start doing in July. Am I going to do a hard mode run of Mario Party? I would lose my goddamn mind. And I think- I think that meta is dead now. Ludwig and Squeaks don't play it anymore. It's- it's a dead meta. I'll- I'll save it for a rainy day. But if- if it took me... Four hours to do regular comms... It's probably gonna take like six... For hard comms, and then like eight for master comms. So, that would- Wait, we'll save that? We'll save that for the subathon. Right, that- that is- that would be a good game for a subathon, huh? Because we're doing that again in August. I'll do it for the subathon. You heard it here. Oh, I- I re I dread that now. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! You tried doing the run? Four hours, 32 minigames? Well, that's because you didn't practice. You just went in blind, right? Because I know for my stream, I did hard comms for the first 20 minutes and then I fucking quit like a little bitch. 
and then I had regular comms, and that even took me four hours. But I did the no skipping rule. I, I did a different rule set for my own run. Because the actual speed run is torturous. Like you start off with the with the Bowser one. It's stupid. I ain't doing I ain't doing the normal ass speed run. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see. I'll save it for August. I'll save it for the subathon. Oh oh yeah, if you don't play the minigames, it's hard to do it then. You gotta practice. Oh yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.